All went well until the last moment. After lifting off from Cameron County in Texas, SpaceX's Starship prototype traveled upwards for a few minutes, flipped sideways and descended as planned, but went up in flame as it touched down. Despite the disastrous ending, Elon Musk was upbeat. Explaining that a lack of fuel tank pressure was to blame, he congratulated his team for the 6 minutes, 42 seconds test flight, saying it provided all necessary data. Mars, here we come, he tweeted. After becoming the first private company to send humans to the International Space Station, Musk's firm aims to use Starship, its next-generation reusable launch vehicle, to take people to the Moon, then to Mars, in a few years' time. Uh, Earth-Mars synchronization occurs roughly every 26 months. So we had one this year, the summer, and uh, so that means in roughly like, about two years there will be another one, um, and uh, then two years after that. So I think, I'd say if you say six years from now, I think highly confident. Uh, if we get lucky, maybe four years. The complete Starship vehicle, when combined with a super-heavy first-stage booster, will stand 120 metres tall and could carry more than 100 tonnes of crew and cargo to Earth's orbit. The project received funding from NASA, alongside rivals like Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, to try and develop affordable space travel. The first tourist scheduled to fly in Starship, Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa, who's training to travel to the moon in 2023.